What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm really excited to show you guys this farm. It's brand new. Well, it's not brand new per se. Like we've done farm for the same items before, but now we're doing it like 10 times as efficient. Like it's absolutely insane. So I wanted to make a forgotten gold farming video about the depleted items that you can get like in, uh, in Outland at Blades Edge Mountains, right? The Apexis weapons. So I went to this spot, like all the way down here, the Forge Camp Terror, and I started killing these mobs because they're kind of close. And uh, the whole clue was to get the Apexis shards because you need the Apexis shards to summon these dragons. And when you summon the dragons, they have a 5% chance to drop like a depleted item, right? So I was like, hey, might as well just kill these because they're close to each other. And it turns out they respawn like extremely, extremely fast. So I brought in my viewers. So we got like a five man group and we just started killing all the mobs. By the way, before we go any further, like this is the location of a dragon spawn. There will be an egg in the center. You click the egg and you got to give them uh, 35 of these Apexis shards to summon the drake. And there's four of these spawns. If you just Google Apexis shard, you're going to find all the locations, but it's one here, one here. And one there and one there. Really, really cool shit. And all of the dragons drop like one shard each. One of these scales, I mean. So when you have like one of each scale from one of each dragon, you can combine it into a cloak that sells for 17,000 gold. And you only need 140 Apexis shards to make that cloak, which is absolutely nothing. It's absolutely insane the amount of loot that you get from this. So basically, this small area. You just place people like all over the place and after two minutes you run around and you loot up all the loot. Really, really simple stuff. It's similar to like all the five man farms that we do. However, you don't really need to be five. If you're five, you're gonna do way more efficiently. But you could just go alone, then try and get a friend along, some gillies maybe. If you have two people or three people, it's still gonna be worth it as of now. However, as soon as I make a video about this, there's probably gonna be a lot more people doing it because this is a really, really good farm. I'm gonna show you guys one uh, picture that I took like as our results after doing it for one hour. So as you guys can see, I got first place with 116,000 gold. The title says 100,000 gold plus, right? And that's because the 116,000 gold is not really accurate value. Because if you see up, you got the depleted sword, depleted sword, depleted staff, and the list just keeps on going with depleted items. And the depleted sword has a market value of 27,000 gold, but that's not the complete item. When you get the depleted sword or any depleted item, you need to spend, again, 50 of the Apexis shards to make the item complete, which will make the item worth like at least twice as much. So everyone in my farm made at least 100,000 gold plus in market value, like easily. And if you take a look at the top, the best thing about it, we even got world drop epics. Just imagine, you can get the... Uh, you can get the, uh, not the T-Boost, but the Felistee Long Blade pattern from this one as well, the Plan, which sells for like 200,000 gold plus. It's a really, really good farm. And not only that, if you take a look in the bags, you can see that uh, you get the Fell Armaments, the Reputation Tokens that you can sell for uh, gold. You get Primal Fire. We get 144 Motes of Fire, which is like 14 Primals. Primals usually go for like 500 gold each, so... Uh, we made like 7,000 gold just in the primals, and then you have the gold from just vendor and green items and so on. So, extremely, extremely good farm. I would definitely go and do it if I were you guys. And I also got like one more farm, like a, a new one that I'm going to show you guys. But it's getting late, I need to make dinner, so I'm going to upload version 2, well the second farm tomorrow. So stay tuned for that, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified whenever I upload that video. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, because there's a lot going on with this farm, but hopefully I managed to uh, explain it to you guys well. If I didn't, leave questions down in the comment section and I will do my absolutely best to answer every single one of them. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye.